It's weird, right? Like one minute you're scrolling through social media and the next you're knee deep in headlines about like global tensions and potential conflicts. Yeah, it's a wild world out there. It really is. And you know, speaking of wild, you guys asked for a deep dive on a topic that's about as serious as it gets, nuclear threats. Yeah, we're going there. We are, and to be honest, even prepping for this deep dive, um, looking at this report, it's kind of chilling. It's definitely attention grabbing, that's for sure. To say the least. Okay, so we're diving into a report that actually maps out potential nuclear targets, and not just anywhere, but right here in the US of A. Right. And the thing is, when you hear nuclear targets, you probably think, okay, big cities, right? New York, LA, those obvious ones. Welcome to Novel Net, your go to podcast for the freshest ideas and hottest topics from around the globe. Today's episode is hosted by the brilliant duo, Leiyu and Gio, who are ready to dive into some fascinating discussions you won't want to miss. From cutting-edge tech to world-changing ideas, they're here to keep you informed and entertained. So sit back, relax, and let Leiyu and Gio take you on a journey through today's most exciting trends. But this map, it kind of throws you for a loop. Yeah. It does. It really highlights the strategic side of things, you know. Exactly. So, for example, two places that pop out right away on this map, Montana and North Dakota. Interesting, right? Because when you think about it, it's not about population centers there. Not at all. So help us understand this. Why those states? Well, it comes down to what they represent. A big chunk of America's nuclear capability. Mm -hmm. Taking out those states, it's not so much about civilian casualties, at least not directly. It's about crippling the country's ability to you know, fire back. So it's cold, calculated strategy. Exactly. It's about gaining the upper hand. And that line of thinking, unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. The map also highlights another type of target, nuclear power plants. And this one really surprised me just how many there are. I mean, we're not talking about a handful. This report, it points out that there are nearly 90 nuclear power plants scattered across the U.S. 90. It's a lot more than people realize. Yeah. And they're not all clustered together either. You've got them in Colorado, Wyoming, all the way to places like Alabama and Pennsylvania. So kind of everywhere. Pretty much. And that's where things get even more, I guess you could say, unsettling. Because targeting these power plants, it's not just about the immediate explosions. It's about what comes after. Right. That domino effect. Exactly. You take out a power plant. You're not just talking about a blackout. You're talking about potential meltdowns, radiation leaks. You're talking about taking out infrastructure, the power grid, communication networks, the stuff that keeps our modern world running. It's about creating chaos. Okay, so not a pretty picture. And I know the report did mention some areas that are considered, quote unquote, relatively safer. But I mean, does that even matter when we're talking about something as devastating as nuclear war? That's the thing, isn't it? Like, how do you even quantify safer in that context? The map, it shows places like, say, rural Idaho, parts of Maine, maybe even Northern California and Oregon as being further from those like immediate blast zones. Right. But relatively safer doesn't mean risk-free, you know what I mean? Mm. Nuclear war is not a contained event. We're talking about fallout, those radioactive particles that can contaminate water, food, the air. It's a long-term threat. So even if you're miles away from a direct hit, the consequences are still terrifying. Absolutely. And, and it's not just about Russia, right? I mean, this report, it also goes into some pretty scary statistics about Iran. Yeah, and that's where connecting the dots gets even more important and honestly more unsettling. Yeah. The report highlights that Iran has enough uranium to potentially build a dozen nuclear bombs. And when you couple that with recent events, like, for example, their drone strike on Israel, it paints a picture of, well, a global climate of fear and uncertainty. Right. It's this stark reminder that what seems like a distant conflict, it can have ripple effects that reach us all. So... With all of this, right, I mean, it's heavy stuff. It's easy to feel powerless in the face of something as massive and as terrifying as, you know, potential nuclear war. So what do we do with this information? You hit the nail on the head. That's why this deep dive is so important. It's not about inciting panic. It's not about saying, hey, everyone freak out. Yeah. It's about saying, hey, this is the reality of the world we live in. Let's be informed so we can be empowered. So it's about knowledge. It's about right. awareness. 
It is. It's about having those sometimes uncomfortable conversations, demanding transparency from our leaders, pushing for peaceful resolutions. Because ultimately, knowledge is power. 100%. The more we understand these threats, the better equipped we are to actually advocate for a safer world. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I want to leave you with this. If this map were redrawn in five years, what would you hope to see? What role can you play in shaping a more peaceful future? It's a question worth pondering. Stay informed, stay engaged, and let's all work towards a future where these maps are nothing more than historical footnotes. That's a wrap on today's episode of Novel Net. Layu and Gio just gave you another incredible deep dive into the ideas shaping our world. If you loved what you heard, be sure to like, share and leave a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're always in the loop for future episodes. Trust me, you won't want to miss what Leu and Geo have coming up next. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on NovelNet.